Hey traders, this video is going to be a little helpful tutorial. I'm going to walk you through how to install the Forex Guy Tools Pack into your MT4 or MT5 since I've updated the download file a little bit. So I'm just going to uh, do a fresh new tutorial. So you, you start off in your MT4 or MT5 and the procedure is pretty much the same between the two. You want to go file, open data folder, and that will give you the folder which your MT4 or 5 is looking for plugins like indicators and expert advisors. Now, once you have that folder open, just close down your MT4, that's best practice. So there's no conflicts when you're trying to update things. And you would have downloaded a file like this, a zip file. And when you open that, um, you'll get a few things here. We've got versions, it's a text file, basically showing you what's been updated, you know, what, what things have been improved or added uh, in the new versions of the tools. Uh, installation guide is here as well if you just need a text version of it but uh, you will see two folders here MT4 and MT5 okay it's pretty self-explanatory whichever platform you're trying to install the tools in you open that folder first so in this example we're using MT4 so we open that and this will give you um, you don't need to go any further than this I've laid out all the, the folders and files inside here the way that MT4 or 5 wants it. So we stop here and then we go into our MT4, MT5 uh, data folder and we're looking for either the MQL4 or MQL5 folder. Okay, so obviously in MT4 it'll be MQL4 and MT5 installs it'll be MQL5. You just open it up and now you should see um, a bunch of folders like this and you can see I've got experts, indicators and libraries and you can see there's also a corresponding expert indicators uh, and libraries there as well. Uh, so like I said, there these are all in the folder structure and file structure that MT4 wants. So we just click and drag into some white space inside the data folder here, let go, and we just say, yes, we want to replace everything. And basically that is the tools installed where they need to go. Now we just click back a few times until uh, we get back here and you, depending on if you're running in portable mode or just the normal version, you either open terminal or portable or just open MT4 or 5 the way you normally do. I use portable so we open here. Okay, now if we go to let's say our indicators, I've put them in a special folder so they're easy to find in the Forex Guide Tools little subtree here. So we expand that and you'll see we've got the market analytics trial here. I've actually used the trial pack as an example for this tutorial. Um, but if you're a War Room member, you'll obviously see the full versions here. And in the expert advisors area, we've got the chart builder and the trade management panel. So before we go any further, we need to configure uh, MT4 and, and even MT5 as well just to enable certain um, DLL calls and things like that to make the software work properly. Um, it's, a, it's okay if you try to load them and you don't have those options enabled, you will get helpful error messages to tell you to do it, but uh, you'll find them in tools, options, and you wanna go to the um, expert advisor setting and depending on which tool you're using, if you're using the uh, trade management panel where it actually has to place trades for you, you actually need that actually selected there. So you need to uh, allow automated trading and you also need, need allow DLL imports. Okay, both of those ticked. So if you just mimic what I've got here, you need all those switches turned on. And if you're using the custom chart builder, you actually probably want to start with, you got you got to be very careful when you put numbers in here and you, you can actually flood MT4 with too much data because it's a 32-bit program, it can run out of memory very easily when you're trying to build custom charts with the uh, the chart builder here. So yeah, be very careful of that. Make sure these numbers are not maxed out because sometimes you'll find that there's huge numbers in here and that will just stall your uh, chart building and you'll run out of mem memory basically. So uh, just check those. Now to load the tools on the chart, you can either double click or click and drag. So let's uh, open the trade management panel. So if we click and drag, let go or double click. Yeah, we need to go to the common area first and we just need to double check allow DLL imports is there. Allow 
allow imports of external experts, and of course, allow live trading, specifically if you're using the trade panel where it needs to actually place trades. If, if the tool you're using doesn't need to place any trades or it's not designed for that, then you don't necessarily need that there. But if you're using the trade panel, yes, you do. And of course, it will give you an error if this is not enabled. Then we go to the inputs tab. And basically here, you're gonna see one or two screens. Uh, all the options are gonna be here, depending on if you have the full version of the tool or a trial version, you'll either see an input here for an email, or if you're using a War Room uh, version of the tool, then it's gonna ask you for your War Room username and password. So you put that in here and click OK. I think I've set one up for my support email as a test test it out so yeah if you're using the trial version it just wants your email you must have already confirmed that inside your email to validate it's your email uh, we click OK uh, also when you're loading the tools okay uh, yep it says that my trial has started so this is part of the trial system if you're a war room member it should just pop up so just click OK confirm that um, what you also need to do when you're loading the tools is press Control T if this window isn't already open and go to the experts tab. Now, if uh, you see any errors here, like if, the, if whatever you're trying to load is not working, then you will see most likely 9.9 .9 times out of 10, there's gonna be an error logged here. And that's gonna be very helpful in helping you diagnose why the tool's not loading. Maybe you forgot a setting or something like that. Maybe a, you missed a file in this installation or something. It will show here. And also if you contact me, um, I'm, that's the first thing I'm gonna ask you is what errors are showing in the expert tab. So if anything's failing to load, please check here and show me a screenshot or something like that. Uh, but also you should see a helpful error. I've tried to provide as many helpful errors as possible so you can sort of get around um, programs not starting. And that's basically it. Um, once you've done that, you, um, you've got the tools ready to go. It, once you do all this stuff, you do all the settings and files and everything, that's it, you're pretty much set, forget from then on, and you just double click on the tools you wanna to load and it'll all just work smoothly from then on. So hopefully that was helpful and enjoy the tools guys.